gonna drop. Hey, wild things. It's Cypress. Oh, dang. Do I have a massive, massive <laughs> thrift haul to share with you today? <laughs> Venus has re entered my sun sign and she is smiling down on me. At least as far as shopping is concerned, I think I brought the entire Goodwill home with me. In fact, I think I've done enough damage, I'm not allowed to go back for a few months. Let's see, what did I find? I found a little bit of housewares, but mostly this is a clothing haul. I got athletic wear, a little bit of leisure wear, I got dresses, a few accessories, tops, and a ridiculously massive amount of sweaters. Let's dive in. Does anybody else have a thing for corbels? I got the pair of these for just a dollar. I like everything to be extra, and a decorative corbel is definitely extra. These are really good for effigies, for little idols. I could hang this on the wall somewhere, maybe put a little Aphrodite on here, and I don't have to worry about the cats knocking over my goddess. Candle fanatic that I am, I couldn't pass up five candles for one dollar. They're brand new, never used, they have not warped, they're all super straight, perfectly usable tapers for ambient lighting for a lot cheaper than I could have picked them up new. $2.50 for this lovely piece of metal art. Originally, this was a TJ Maxx item. This isn't the most amazing piece of art I've ever seen, but at the same time, I love the lines and the color scheme and the fact that it's tactile and three-dimensional and that it's not made out of canvas. So it's ticking a lot of boxes for me. So for $2.50, I was like, this is gonna go in my home and it's gonna look a lot more expensive than having nothing on the wall. exciting here. I've got a pair of sort of Indiana Jones style pants, cotton spandex, Marona. So I think these are a Target brand. At any rate, I have found myself in an odd predicament where I don't have appropriate hiking pants. I only have denim for hiking and I feel very self-conscious about that because I know better than to wear denim hiking on the trails. So these fit, they work. I think I paid two bucks for them, and I can go hiking without it being a walk of shame. I also found this delightful little shelf-in workout top. It's a bright yellow, almost tending toward green. It's got this very unusual feature in that it has a drawstring at the waist. I'm not entirely sure of the thought process behind this, but I suppose if you want to wear it loose and let the air flow, you can do that. Or if you want to make it snug and avoid the ticks, you can do that as well. So I'll be interested to see what my preferences are with this. I found this little number, Athletic Essentials. This is kind of an odd and fancy take on athletic wear. It's got a little bit of almost ruching along the sides and in stripes along the back. I don't know what to call this really. It's an attractive color, it fits, and it's gonna be very warm when I wanna hike and it's cold, so I am all about it. Another item for warm weather, this one's nice and I think it's a wicking material. You gotta love the thumb holes. Oh, this is, this is Nike, so yeah, it's gonna be a little up there in the price, or would have been. <laughs> I think almost every item I bought in this entire haul was $2 a piece. And then I'm kind of torn on this next one. I really love it, which is why I got it, but in the wrong light, it actually looks pink but it's somewhere between orange and hot pink. And so I'm kind of torn because I'm really not a pink person, but I can make exceptions for the right hot pink. The inside though is blue, so that kicks it up a notch. 
looks like it's gonna be really warm and I need lightweight warm stuff for hiking in the winter. I don't have a lot of good stuff for that. Okay, so that's my athletic wear. I also got some leisure wear. Now, I don't know if we can call a long sleeve tee leisure wear, but that's what I consider it. It's not very dressy, but it's super cute. Red and gray or red and black long sleeve shirt. It says sinful across the bust. How can you go wrong with that? And then on the back, we've got this really over the top set of angel wings and a cross. Honestly, if I noticed that it was a cross, I might not have picked it up. Iconographically, kind of problematic for me, but I think the fact that it says sinful on the front sort of balances out the overbearing imagery on the back, and I think the overall effect is Naughty Angel, and I'm okay with that. Velour lounge pants need to make a comeback as far as I'm concerned, and this pair are almost unworn. The color is amazeballs. It also came with the zip sweater. I think I paid $3 for the whole pair of the two. I would have paid that just for the pants. Now it's time to get to some of the dressier stuff. So to go with the dresses, I found a really fun pair of shoes. I don't remember if I paid a buck, a buck fifty for the pair. But despite the fact that I have an arsenal of shoes, I really don't have more than one or two pumps. I don't know how this oversight really happened. I think I have felt like pumps are kind of boring, but these pumps are definitely not boring. It's a really nice classy and whimsical take on the pump. And in fact, they paired well with the first dress. This is a strapless and strapless can be really problematic, but the fit on this is insane. This is by the limited. I've never really given the limited another thought, but the way that this dress stays put and fits so well, I'm actually going to have to give the limited a little bit more attention if I see that label come up in the future. Here is a really fun number from Venus. I haven't seen anything from Venus in a really long time. I mean the clothing line, not the planet. I interact with the planet on a regular basis. This nice warm gray with the silver sparklies, really slinky fit without accentuating the places that you don't want accentuated. Just an overall nice dress. This one's a fun little casual summer dress. The colors are great. The pattern has a slightly medieval kind of feeling to it. Looks really good under a push-up bra. A flatter, less supportive bra doesn't quite do it justice, but a full-on wonder bra does wonders for the bust line here. And then this dress, uh, I'm really not sure if this is formal, casual, I can't decide, but I love the fit, I love the look. I am not a halter top fan, so I may end up changing the top around so that it's straps instead of a halter tie, but other than that, just a really fun option for dressing up in the summer. And then of course, of course, I had to find something orange. If there's anything orange in the store, I'm going to gravitate to it like a moth to flame. This is sort of a really warm mustard yellow fabric with the orange printed on over it. And these particular styles of shirts and dresses seem to fit me quite well. I'm not sure why there's bling only on the left shoulder and not the right, but I'll forgive it because everything else about it fits and looks so nice. Okay. Moving on from the dresses. I also found a couple of accessories. How adorable are these sunglasses? I couldn't pass these up. And, uh, and this little pair of earrings. They're vintage and they're kind of a basic gonna go with a lot of different things kind of an earring and how often do you find clips these are not the original clips or posts or whatever was on these but works for me if these were posts I'd have had to convert them into clips anyway so just nice little earrings 
found some really nice button-up tops and I'm a little conflicted about this because I don't really need any more button-up tops but these were too just too me to pass up this little red white and black number not normally my color scheme but there was something about this the particular tones of the colors the pattern the fit of the shirt it does have this little tie in the back and I don't know how I feel about that I'm really not one for extra bows but overall the shirt works well either buttoned or not and I find it fetching I haven't found anything brown in a while and this brown and white top almost almost a little too sweet and innocent for me almost a little bit of a modern take on a peasant blouse without the blousey sleeves it's got a really nice neckline I like to change the neckline up every once in a while normally a deep plunging v-neck is what I go to all the time but one doesn't want to be completely predictable and boring now I don't have a lot of navy, so this shirt was a good option. It's got a lot of really nice visual detail. Look at this on the back. I mean, I'm saying, and my skin is pale enough, this is really going to show when I wear it. The sleeves have this nice gathered detail with the button, and again, there is a bow <laughs> tie on the back. Apparently I can't escape that all the time. But overall, just a lot of really cool design features working in this shirt. So I brought it home with me. Okay. <laughs> this shirt, there was no way I was going to leave this. I mean, look at this thing. It's my colors, the earth tones and the blue. I'm not really a fan of three-quarter sleeves generally, but I mean, I'm saying, what are you going to do? This is just... a really unusual detail and it carries on the bottom hem. I can wear the shirt open or buttoned and it's just too fun. This last shirt isn't really quite a shirt as much as it is a jacket. I found a really good condition suede jacket for two dollars and it's blue. As you can see it's kind of a casual fit. It's not over the top and super dramatic, which I like, but sometimes I do do things casual. It does happen. And boy, is this stepping up my casual game. Blue suede, two dollars. Are you hanging in there with me? This is a lot of stuff. I do this about once a year. I'll go just fill up a cart with clothes. It's a little ridiculous, but it's not. Two dollars per garment. All right, last category, sweaters. I got so many freaking sweaters, it's insane. But what happened was, girls, you know how this works. You need this particular shade for this particular outfit and this particular kind of flow for that particular, like, it's a thing. L let's just say it was something I needed and leave it at that. This first one is probably my least favorite item of the entire haul. Not really a fan of this material, this sweatshirty material almost. It's not, it's a knit, but it seems cheap to me. But the detail along the bottom really saved it for me. I don't have much in the way of lavender for cardigans, so I thought for $2, when I find something that works better, I can let it go. But in the meantime, I will probably actually use this quite a bit because something I've been needing is a purple cardigan. This sweater, I just fell in love with the colors. It reminds me of an overcast, little bit chilly day at the beach. The cloud cover, nobody's around because it's a chilly, kind of icky day, but that's the kind of weather that I like. Not the chilly part, the rainy part. This is a St. John's Bay sweater. It's a really nice casual sweater, and the colors just make me feel all warm and cozy and happy. This sweater, basically the same thing. The colors are gray and blue and moody. It's got an almost intentionally inside out pattern. It makes it look like the seams are backwards. Grays and blues, I don't think I could ever overdo it on grays and blues for me, so yay. Now this light blue little cardigan, this one is a little special because the neck has these rhinestone designs. So normally I don't button a cardigan, but I might find myself buttoning the top button of this one just to show off the bling on the neckline. Yes, please. 
Okay, this sweater is a little touch and go. I love the color, I love the look. It's a Maurice's brand, but it is just the tiniest bit scratchy, which is really unfortunate. I think I will always wear this under a long sleeve tee, but it's just a cute little blue sweater. Okay. A nice, simple, basic gray cardigan. I love the long sleeves on this one. The sleeves just really make it for me. Kind of one of those sweaters that makes you feel like Mr. Rogers and like you should be sipping hot tea. That's what this sweater does for me. I'm excited about this one too. This is kind of a gray and white stripey cardigan. It's very soft, very springy knit material. It's got these fun little pockets in the front. It's got a hood. I would prefer a deeper hood. You get that kind of medieval cloak look with more of the hood coming back. Sadly, that's not the case. Okay, this is more of a shawl than a sweater. How fun is this? And this elegant little item, it's a Liz Claiborne, still with the tags, retailed at $42. <laughs> and I got it for two. Elegant, and it just, it looks so freaking cool with this really long, crinkly fringe. So really, really happy with that find. Now, this cardigan is a little short. It kind of just comes to the waist and nothing else, but it is so bright white, creamy milky white. It's not dingy anywhere. It is so hard to find a brilliantly white sweater in good condition, and it's really cute, and I'm sure it'll pair really well with jeans or uh, corduroys even. This is a softer little number. It's a regular pullover. It's got this really fun pilled sort of detail. It's very soft, almost demure, which is a little off for me, a little off brand, but I like the look of it. It's cuddly, it's comfy. Like I said, it's really hard to find pale sweaters that haven't been dingified by use. And now this one's just for fun. This is a stretchy, lacy type sweater cover. Not really for keeping warm, but for being fancy. It's got sequins all through it. It's kind of a grayish light mauve as far as I'm concerned. It's just really hard to say no to well wrought sequins, I feel like. And then finally, I really wasn't sure whether to include this with the sweaters or the dresses. This is a little knit dress that clearly needs to be worn over something. Maybe a tank top and a pair of athletic shorts or a little black mini dress, but something. Unless you want to wear it as lingerie. Fashion Nova, I've heard that name but really playful fun, again, in perfect condition, no staining whatsoever. Whew. Okay, you guys, that's the entire haul. We did it, that's all the things. How insane was that? So here's the thing, grand total, all of these items, the sweaters, the athleisure wear, the tops, the dresses, the accessories, the entire haul, all of these things, everything you saw in the video, I paid a grand total of $60. The one sweater was over 40 new. If we went retail, the one shawl was over $40. Like two pieces I could have gotten retail. I didn't even count how many, was it th 30 items? I think I got 30 items. So $60 is a lot for me to spend at a thrift shop, but every once in a while, you just get lucky and an entire wardrobe flies off the racks into your shopping cart. And that is what happened to me. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Which pieces did you like? And are there pieces that you didn't like? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for playing dress up with me. Thanks for watching, and whenever you look for clothes, guys, keep it wild. I will see you in the next video. This was originally a TG. And the fridge is gonna go off.
This last shirt isn't really quite as sh visual and textual. Textural. Textural, not textual. Textural. And dang, my nose is driving me crazy. <laughs> because iconographically, iconographically, but, but, but the way. But, uh, 